Mr. Ed here. Today is July 3rd, 2017. Today I'm in Bidaco, Louisiana, about 25, 30 miles from the Abbey. And uh, we're looking at a really interesting job today. Yep, I'm standing next to a tree, not a house. And you say, Mr. Ed, well, what she's doing by a tree? And I say, well, if you look up into the tree, you'll see what we're doing here. We got bees in a duck box. So the homeowners, uh, they, they asked that if I could come and remove these bees because uh, the grandson is highly allergic to them. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take these bees out of the tree. And I got the homeowner, Mike, he's going to be actually help me lower it down. And I think that's really going to be the hard part of this job is uh, bringing this box down. The transfer of the bees shouldn't be too challenging. Um, but then everything else, uh, uh, getting it down, is going to be the hard part. So by the grace of God, these Vitaco bees, they're going to become Abbey honeybees. Time to rank them. How about that, huh? It was a, I was an adventure getting this box down. This box has got to weigh 75, even maybe even more pounds. This thing is chock full. These poor bees don't have anywhere to go. So I brought um, uh, two deeps with me today. When we start transferring out the, the comb, I'll put all the comb in one box, and then I've got another box that's got drawn out comb on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start uh, taking the uh, box apart. I, I can pull these nails and lift the box up and then we can see what's inside. I mean there's a lot of bees here. We're just gonna get them to go into uh, our, our box, that's all. Alright, let's start taking this apart. Folks, you can tell these bees are not happy, huh? They are not happy. That's what the inside of our box is looking like. And this is a lot of bees. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of bees. And you can always <clears throat> already see at this bottom part right there, you can already see the brood down there. Alright. Time to 
they're dismantling a beehive. Here we go. Well, folks, after at least two hours of battling, trying to find her, I finally caught her. Sweet! Thank you, Jesus. Uh, I caught her on the leg of the uh, sawhorse. Caught her on the leg of the sawhorse. That's where she was, was at. I'm telling you, I've been looking all over that girl. All right, so now I'm going to put her on the, on the comb, get those bees to come in. All right, thank you, Jesus. Good deal. That was the uh, sawhorse leg that I caught her on. And uh, there she is. You can see her on top of the box right there. And now we got a little marsh going on. That's what we want to see. Finally, finally, finally. These bees have just been hanging out, waiting to find out where their queen is. Well, she's home now, and this thing is going to... Rock and roll now. Been about, oh, at least half an hour, maybe 40 minutes since I put the queen uh, on top of the box. Uh, we got a lot more bees, um, obviously, on that sawhorse leg now. So I'm going to go ahead and just about, uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop that queen down into the box so I can get the bees to move into the box. And hopefully we can get this thing closed up and then uh, set it out for the bees to start coming to it. There's our queen. Lock her in right now. She's in the bottom. Now I'll just slip her inside of here.
let's bounce some bees in here. Get this program going. All set up now. Got the brew down at the bottom. The bunch of honey. Wet, I know it's wet. Hopefully they'll be able to clean that up. Um, and then the top is all dry, drawn out comb. Got the uh, bees still on the front of it, but they still don't know the queen's in the bottom now. And uh, there's still a couple on the side too, but we still have these guys up here. And I'm hoping that they'll get the message and come on down. Well, that's all I have for you today. Uh, it, you know, you come here with a plan and, you know, you have to be able to adjust to it. And uh, I think we did all right, all things considered. We did get the queen and that's a really big plus for these girls right here. So I'll leave these bees here for at least a week, at least a week. And uh, hopefully they're going to orient on this box. And uh, I'll keep in touch with the homeowner, making sure what, what's going on with them. If I have to come back up here, I will. And uh, about another week, I'll come back up here and... Uh, pull these guys and head them up to the Abbey. Thanks for watching. Keep on watching and I'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Ed, I'm out of here until the next video.